Here I'm showing red cards in my uh, artifact cube that either has a uh, scars of Miradam block cards or uh, Miradam block cards, at least for the colored cards. In the case of the artifacts, anything is fair game uh, from all of modern. Uh, here we have Spike Shot Elder, a one drop creature rare from Scars of Miradan. Uh, it's a 1 1 1 with a uh, 3 drop ability. It deals damage equal to its power to target a creature or player. That could be really useful if you're able to equip this thing and give it more power. But if not, it still deals 1. Uh, not that great, so I think you'd probably have to equip this thing to, uh, to get it to hit hard for the 3 mana you're going to spend on hitting hard with it. Uh, Spark Elemental, it's a 1-3-1, one, one, very aggro card, uh, common from 5th uh, Dawn. It's got Trample and Haste, and but at the end of the turn you have to sacrifice it. A little bit like uh, Vexing Devil, only uh, hits less. 2 of Goblin Gavalier, and 1 of Slith Fire Firewalker. Uh, goblin Gavalier is a goblin, of course, aptly named. 1-1-1 one, one, one with Trample, common from Scars of Miradan. It gets plus 2, plus 0 for each equipment attached to it. That could be useful. Uh, then the Slith is an uncommon from Miradan with Haste, a 2-1-1. One, one. When it deals combat damage to a player, put a plus 1, plus 1 counter uh, on it. I think it's like Stump, Strum Kirk Noble in the current standard, uh, where it keeps getting plus 1, plus 1 as, as it hits. Then three of Oxida Daredevil and two of Tunnel Ignis. Uh, Tunnel Ignis reads like a junk rare. I think I bought a place of, for it for very little money. Uh, rare from Scars of Meridan. Uh, two to one with a uh, very long text. Uh, and I've read this before, and I really I don't I don't. It's it's not common that this would happen. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under its opponent con control, if that player had another land enter the battlefield under his or her control, uh, this card deals 3 damage to that player. This is really good only for those uh, green decks that have cards where they can drop in another land. Uh, otherwise, I don't, I don't see it being that much useful. You'd have to put this thing on a sideboard, in my opinion. Oxida Daredevil is a goblin. 2-2-1. Two, two, Sacrifice an artifact, and this, cre uh, this creature gains haste until end of turn, a common from Scars of Meridan. Then you've got Ember Smith, a 2-2-1 two, two, uncommon from uh, Scars of Meridan. Uh, whenever you cast an artifact spell, you may pay a 1. If you do, this card deals 1 damage to target creature or player. Not terrible. Uh, Razor Swine, uh, it's one of these... Uh, Interesting creatures outside of blue, green, and black that have Infect from New Phyrexia. It's also got stri uh, First Strike, and it's a 3, 2, 1. Uh, goblin Brawler, a goblin from Fifth Dawn. I've got two of them. And then 3 Crack Clan Stoker, uh, another goblin, also, well, actually from Dark Steel. Uh, and again, these are uh, grade tapping uh, artwork from the Miradam block, very characteristic of that block where they really didn't color those things correctly, it seems. Uh, this goblin has a 3-2-2, two, two, uh, and when you tap it, meaning you don't use it to attack, sacrifice an artifact, add 2 mountain, 2 red, which you couldn't tell because it's gray, to your mana pool. Then goblin brawler, it's got first strike and it cannot be equipped. Uh, again, 3-2-2. Um, not that great, it's a common. Uh, crack, Plant, Grunt, one of them. Three, Spike Shot, Goblin. Um, and Spike Shot, Goblin's got a, uh, an additional mountain and tapping. Uh, it deals damage equal to its power to target creature or player. It's only one power, but if you've got it equipped, such as you would normally, usually, in an artifact-heavy uh, deck, uh, then it could cause a lot of damage. It's a 3 1 2. Not that great. It's a common from Miradan. Uh, Crack Clan Grunt is a 3 2 2. Common Miradan. Sacrifice an artifact. This creature gets plus 1 plus 0 and gains first strike until end of turn. It doesn't seem that great. I have two of them. Volshuk Sorcerer, which I love the artwork. Uh, one of them. And two Volshuk 
Hartstoker. Uh, notice the same uh, naming convention used in both blocks. However, this isn't they were. They're both uh, artifact heavy blocks. And also with similar naming conventions for some of the creatures and the cards. Uh, Volshuk Sorcerer is a 3 1 1 with haste. If you tap it, meaning you don't attack with it, it deals one damage to target creature or player. Not that great. Great artwork, though. Uh, Volshuk Heart Stoker. It's a 3 2 2. That's not terrible for a comment from Scars of Meridan. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, target creature gets plus 2 plus 0 until end of turn. That could be useful. Uh, then Cosmic Larva. One of them, and two Fervor. There they are. Uh, Cosmic Larva is a three drop, seven, six, rare. Reads to me like a junk rare. Let's see. So it's got Trample. That's awesome, up to the point when we read the next thing. At the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice this card unless you sacrifice two lands. Yeah, so, yeah, I, I don't... Yeah, it reads like a junk rare. I mean, it's enticing, but it's got this gigantic negative thing that you lose two lands. Losing two lands uh, can be really, really bad. It can be worse than having a 7-6 to hit with anything. Three uh, Blade Tribe Berserkers and one Ogre Menial. Ogre Menial is a 4-0-4 with Infect. Yet another one of these uh, new Phyrexia or uh, Mirrodan Besiege cards that are not uh, green, blue, or black and have Infect. And with an extra uh, mountain, it gets plus one, plus zero until end of turn. So you can pump it. This thing can be pumped. Uh, that's not terrible. Not terrible. Uh, Blade Tribe Berserkers is a 4-3-3 with Metalcraft. When it enters a battlefield, if you satisfy the usual Metalcraft ability of having three or more artifacts, it gets plus three, plus three, and gains haste until end of turn. I could see that being really good. Um, then a full playset of Volshuk War Boar, uncommon from Darksteel, and one Scoria Elemental, a five drop common from Scars of Miradan. It's a five six one vanilla creature, very aggro. Um, that's vanilla creatures don't really require a lot of description. Uh, Volshuk War Boar comes into play, sacrifice it unless you sacrifice an artifact. Four five five. That's really good if you've got uh, a low-power low ar artifact that you can live without to get that creature to hit. Rustmouth Ogre 2. I like the artwork. Very old school. Then Megatog. Obviously very uh, old school Atog creature. Uh, Rustmouth Ogre is a 6-5-4. Uh, when it deals combat damage to a player, you may destroy target artifact that player controls. That can be useful. It's an uncommon mirror then. It's an Ogre. I like the artwork, very old school. Uh, Me Megatog, when uh, sacrifice an artifact, Megatog gets plus three, plus three, and gains trample until end of turn. It's a rare uh, from Mirror, then it's a five, three, four. Um, I'm not sure if it's a junk rare. Uh, Iron Barb Helion, and then two of Flameborn Helion. Two, uh, one is. Got his name Helion, but it's a beast, and the other one's an Helion, but it's just a Helion. Um, maybe, maybe it's the way creatures have been named in the old sets versus the newer sets. Um, in the case of the aptly named Helion from Scars of Meridan, it's a 654 with haste, uh, and it attacks each turn of able. Uh, Iron Barb Helion is a 654 with haste, and it cannot block, and it's an uncommon from Fifth Dawn. So the exact same drop and PT with haste, but a different uh, rarity level, and then a different additional ability. 